Yo, what's up? The ceiling is, and welcome to the next episode of Type Moon Character Showcase. If you didn't know, this is a series where I look at the characters of the Gnostiverse regardless of their obscurity and share all their details to you. I do this by first going into their character and backstory before checking their abilities and character quirks and finishing off with personal thoughts. A goal of mine for this series is to share to you all the fascinating characters of the Gnostiverse regardless of obscurity, and this episode, we'll be doing just that. Today, we're going to be looking at a character that we don't even know the design of. The Dead Apostle Ancestor, Enhance. Enhance is a character that we really don't know much about since he was originally going to be part of Tsukihime 2, and well, at the time of this video's creation, that never got made. Damn it, Nasu. For those who don't know, no. Tsukihime 2 is not Kagetsu Toya. Tsukihime 2 was meant to be a sequel to Tsukihime that followed the events of Arcade's route. It would have been a story about a three-way clash between Shiki and Arcade in the future against the Church and the Dead Apostle Ancestors, as the Dead Apostles would work to start a ritual known as the Aylesbury Valesti in order to revive a Dead Apostle Ancestor known as the Dark Six. If it was made, it would have revealed a huge amount of information about the individual Dead Apostles, the Church, and many other things and Enhance was one of the few characters that was meant to be a part of Tsukihime 2. We had the short stories called Prelude and Talk that were included with the book character material that gave us previews into the world of Tsukihime 2, as well as character material itself expanding on some of the characters to begin with. However, ultimately due to Tsukihime 2 not existing, not a lot of the details of these characters have been shown, and a good portion of them haven't even been given an appearance. Enhance also doesn't have an appearance, however according to Kagetsu Toya, he looks like Dante from Devil May Cry, which is probably what the thumbnail is going to be because of that. So of course, because he's so obscure, I'm going to talk about him. Disclaimer though, if Tsukihime 2 ever gets made, this video will become severely outdated since right now, we barely know anything about him. Despite this, I will stick to my word and I will tell you all about this obscure character, starting with his character and backstory. Enhance is one of the Dead Apostle Ancestors, a group of Dead Apostles that are considered to be the most powerful of their race. They are ranked in terms of how much of a threat they are to humanity, and Enhance is ranked 18th. As I said, his appearance is described to be very similar to Dante from Devil May Cry, and in Prelude, his targets described his appearance as a black shadow cloaked in curses born from rage. The sheer power of his curses was enough to even make Bartha Malloy Lorelei bat an eye when she first saw him. And remember, Bartha Malloy is the leader of the clock tower, so she's quite the big deal. Not a lot is known about Enhance's origin, but what we do know is that compared to most other Dead Apostle ancestors, he's quite young. Unlike most Dead Apostles, Enhance was a rare case where he actually retained a lot of his humanity from his conversion in both mind and body. While most dead apostles would become in tune with their vampire nature and accept it, Enhance had more willpower born from a desire for revenge. That reason for revenge has yet to be specified, but I'd speculate it's relating to how he became a dead apostle in the first place, or something that the dead apostles did to something that he cared for. Regardless, because of this lust for vengeance, his goal is to kill every dead apostle he can. Yeah, good luck with that. The reason Enhance became a Dead Apostle Ancestor was because he killed his original master in Cold Blood, who was the original 18th Dead Apostle Ancestor. Because of his actions, he was given the Dead Apostle name Blade, or in other words, Single-Edged Enhance Sword, which is why he's called Enhance. Of course, Dead Apostles usually fight and kill each other as a source of entertainment, but Enhance does it purely out of rage and revenge. He doesn't do it for fun. He forms no alliances and decimates entire clans leaving no survivors. Not just the men, but the women and, and the, the children, children too. too. He I hates hate them. them! He destroys the land of any vampire and even goes after other dead apostle ancestors, which is considered unforgivable by his race. Since his goal is the complete annihilation of his species, the other dead apostle ancestors refuse to acknowledge him as one of their own. His reputation has also given him the names Knight of Vengeance and Vampire Killer of the Dead Apostles. In Prelude, he's one of the people going after the newly appointed 10th Dead Apostle Ancestor, Louvre. 
Confronting Louvre in his own mansion, he runs into Bartha Malloy as each of them fought Louvre's children. Bartha Malloy took down his daughter, while Enhanced took down his son. They had an extremely brief battle upon seeing each other, allowing the children to escape them, but after that, they silently agreed to a ceasefire in order to take down the real Louvre. However, when they reached his room, they were greeted by the sight of all three dead apostles cut into pieces, and his mace weapon stolen. Louvre was dead, killed by a third party, the famed assassin that hunted dead apostles. Death. With that, Enhance leaves the building, leaving Bartha Malloy to look at the situation in anger. Enhance is very edgy, but remember, this guy was thought up in the year 2000. So for the time, this wasn't a very tired trope, and you could argue that it was quite fresh when he was made. And in fact, he still somewhat kind of holds up as a character since he's so underdeveloped, and thus he has a lot of potential for character death or changes in spite of his stereotypical edgy OC character. He's described to be a being of rage and hatred specifically for dead apostles, with a dark curse surrounding his entire body. I've talked a bit about his whole deal with his revenge, but it's really simple and not quite explored. Then again, this is a character that's got very little to him and only appears in a very short story, so there's not much to say. In terms of quirks and abilities, Enhance does have some stuff revealed to us to talk about. As we covered, he's the 18th dead apostle ancestor, usurping the ranking after killing his previous master. He's quite strong, however compared to other dead apostle ancestors, he's actually on the weaker spectrum as his abilities are far more simple and his combat skill is only mediocre in comparison. He is described to be enshrouded in a deep curse from his rage, however whether it gives him any special abilities or is just a statement is unknown. Still, it's something to note. His rage and lust for vengeance is what fuels his abilities and makes him stronger. I would draw similarities to Edmund Dantes and his noble phantasms if I were to compare him to a more well-known example. He's shown to be able to use slight transformation abilities, like when he sprouts wings described to look like the wings of no other living being to leave Louvre's castle. Although, whether he can only sprout wings or can transform other things is unknown. For weapons, he wields the demonic sword Avenger, a sword that he stole from his former master after he killed them. Due to having some semblance of humanity, his nerves are slightly destroyed whenever he uses it. However, the true scope of its power is unknown because, well, we never see it. He also has the Holy Burial Artillery Scripture, a type of mystical shotgun made by the church. It is rumored that the person who keeps it working for him is none other than our lovely CL Senpai. Now ain't that nice. It's a strong weapon, however, due to being a holy weapon created by the church, it destroys his left arm each time he uses it since he's a dead apostle. Basically, both of Enhance's main weapons destroy his own body whenever he uses them. Ain't that sad. But still, it's really cool for a nerf, and it keeps him balanced as a character. I really want to see how he would use these weapons in a combat situation where he can't just use them willy-nilly. For personal thoughts, I think Enhance is intriguing as hell. Sure, he has a lot of high school 12 year old OC edge with a sword and a gun that looks like a character from a popular game, but he has interesting concepts regardless. His whole idea of a rare dead apostle ancestor that retains his memories and humanity is cool, and his weapons that hurt his own arms whenever he uses them is also cool. I really want to see more of Enhance because he just seems to have that potential. It was described that he would likely be a protagonist or a major player in Tsukihime 2, and I want to see that! There's even a fan interpretation of his design in the doujin Type Moon Complex, and in my opinion, it looks sick as hell. Enhance is such a cool character concept, and I want to see more of him outside of a tiny story and some note of his existence. Please, Nasu, give us Tsukihime 2. Show me what his curse is about, what the demonic sword avenger does, all of that jazz. I want to see my boy enhance and I want to see how he's handled. He's got great potential and I know that under the right development, he can become a fan favorite. However, all of that is wishes for a sequel that has yet to come for years now and who knows, we might never even see it come to fruition. Even if so, 
I hope this video sheds light on one of the more obscure characters of Tight Moon. And if you enjoy this concept, join me as we parade and beg for Sugi Himetu. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Tight Moon Character Showcase, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Until then, I'll simply take my leave. See ya!